the end to this story, but how do you actually think it's going to end? Well, Goodell has made it abundantly clear, Mike. For nine down to two, I agree with you. But for Tom Brady, this can only end one way, zero. What would you do if you were Commissioner Jamel Hill? Which if, is a frightening thought. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I were the commissioner, I'd drop it down to nothing. I mean, it's, it, zero. I mean, this has been pointless, a pointless exercise. Okay, then, all right, you knock it down to zero, and then what do you say to your other owners, Commissioner Hill? Uh, do you want to go to court? <laughs> That's what I was saying to them. Look, it, the, the, the league cannot afford to take this to court. It, it, it ends in an ugly mess if they do. You know, you, you don't want this thing dragged out with one of the biggest stars in the sport. Time when you look at what, what was at the root of it. And the thing about the Wells report is that because it left so many questions, it didn't settle, it, it settled some, but not everything. And I know that wasn't the threshold. It's just really hard if I'm Tom Brady to say, oh, this is what's gonna cause me to lose a quarter of my season? Well, There's no of, way. It's a lack Here's of the leadership X as well. Good. Here's the X factor here. If Okay, there's another uh, controversy that is not uh, getting the headlines of, of Deflategate because, uh, because nothing does. But uh, Junior Seau's family, by league precedent, is not going to be allowed to speak at the Hall of Fame induction ceremonies. And you think <sighs> what? Well, I, I think that this is... The well, yeah, they used to have a precedent to let the legal system take the lead <laughs> on some of these cases. Right? And Howard, what could possibly have gone wrong with that, saying the Ray Rice thing? <laughs> Yeah. It's, it's, it's incredible. And, and to me, 